ill-gotten, ill-spent. Charles and William hand in hand to take back what Sussex steals from Palace. Prince William and Prince Charles are set to take back the ownership of issues championed by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, according to an expert. Prince William and Prince Charles will likely start taking back causes particularly close to the heart of young generations which have been championed by Meghan and Prince Harry, according to U.S. brand and reputation management expert Eric Schiffer. The California-based commentator noted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been able to appeal to millennials and Generation Z members with their approach to causes close to their heart, including equality and the protection of the environment. But he believes pivotal members of the royal family are set to start working on taking back the limelight and ownership of these issues. The protection of the environment and equality are causes he expects Prince Charles and in particular William to delve more into. Moreover, he expects the royals to have a focus on understanding and tuning into the sensitivities of young generations. Mr. Schiffer told, Charles, as he relates to the environment, is extremely well positioned because he was forward thinking and visionary about it years ago. And he is now highlighting that because he recognizes it's an important issue that matters. While Meghan and Harry had the early movers' advantage of being more wisely attuned to the needs of younger people, I expect the monarchy, in the form of William and Charles, to further attune and have greater affinity in their messaging and actions in ways that Meghan and Harry have owned for the last year. Asked whether the royals based in the UK will be working on taking the limelight back from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Mr Schiffer said, yes, and those issues. They are going to start taking them back. Because they have allowed them to be owned, and they are going to start taking ownership back. They have the ability to get cameras on them. This dynamic, Mr. Schiffer noted, will be greatly beneficial to the target audience both the Sussexes and the Royals in the UK are focusing their attention on. He said, all of which is great for millennials and Gen Z, who want champions of these things. As noted by Mr. Schiffer, Prince Charles has been dedicating much of his work to raising warnings on environmental causes for more than 50 years. In February 1970, he delivered his first major speech on the environment, during which he warned about air and plastic pollution and deforestation. His sons Prince Harry and Prince William have also shown an interest in the environment over the years. The Duke of Sussex has worked in particular on conservation, as the patron of the charity African Parks, and discussed his concerns for the planet in an interview with Dr. Jane Goodall published on the issue of Vogue guest edited by Meghan in 2019. The Duke of Cambridge has also worked on conservation, in particular through his patronage Tusk Trust. Prince William's apparent banning of the BBC from showing a Christmas carol concert could be the tip of the iceberg, sources claim. The charity fundraiser, which is reportedly set to be hosted by the Duchess of Cambridge herself at Westminster Abbey, will now be broadcast by rival ITV. It is said the Cambridges have opted to turn their back on the Beeb after its two-part series The Princes and the Press kicked off on Monday night. It has been claimed William, who missed the first part while attending the Tusk Awards, had briefed against his younger brother Prince Harry and his wife Meghan. But insiders suggest this could be the beginning of the row with future TV projects with the broadcaster possibly at risk. A report into his interview with Princess Diana interview on BBC Panorama found that he had acted inappropriately and was in serious breach of BBC guidelines. Speaking of the royal documentary BBC chairman Richard Sharp reportedly said he hoped the royal family would respect the documentary and he stood by the production team. He said, the BBC is a national institution and we approach our relationships with the other national institutions with great care and thought. The national institution